Yay Networks. Hello, hello, hi, everybody doing today. It's another beautiful day in the neighborhood. And you know what? It's getting close to Christmas. Or uh, some might call it Christmas. So, honey, you know, I don't know if y'all um, um, got out yet and start buying your Christmas gifts and everything. But if you want to buy me something, honey, you can buy it, honey. Just send it to me however you want to send it to me. But you know what? Let me tell you what really just disturbs me, honey, about some people. I got some friends. I don't know if y'all heard or know about different um, faiths, religions, or whatever. But I have some friends, honey, that turn Jehovah Witness when it comes time to Christmas, honey. Yes, they say, oh, I'm a Jehovah Witness, so I don't celebrate Christmas. Because, you know, Jehovah Witness, they don't celebrate Christmas. So do you know people turn into Jehovah Witness just before Christmas so they ain't got to buy no damn body a gift? That is sad. That is so disgusting and sad. But, you know, <clears throat> that's the way it is. So I be wondering sometimes, you know, should I turn Jehovah Witness, honey, just for Christmas? So I ain't got to buy no damn body a gift, honey. I mean, that is the most tackiest, saddest thing, honey. But, you know, we got people out there and people do it. So, honey... If you're Jehovah Witness, then, honey, okay, then, you know, I guess you ain't got to buy me nothing, honey, you know, if you don't want to. But if you do, honey, I'm buying you all a gift. I'm giving you the gift of me. I am your gift, honey. So, signed, sealed, delivered, I'm yours. So, there you go. And, you know, it's sad, you know, that, you know, Christmas is approaching, honey. And, you know, a lot of people, honey, um, a lot of people, honey, they went through a lot. Um, before Christmas, honey, you know, relationships, honey, people break up, honey. Some people break up to make up, honey. It's just a sad situation, honey. But I tell you what, um, you know, people still talking about um, Deion Sanders and his beautiful fiance, honey, um, Miss, um, what's her name? What's that? Uh, damn, uh, Miss Tracy, honey. You know, I personally know Deion Sanders, and I, you know, and I met Tracy um, a couple of times. And, you know, people saying, you know, it's sad that it's almost close to Christmas. And, you know, what do the lonely do at Christmas, honey? Will Dion be lonely? Will Tracy be lonely at Christmas? I mean, there'll be no gifts probably exchanged. I mean, what is it? Nobody knows, honey. And then, honey, the latest thing um came up. They're saying that Offset, honey, and Miss um, Cardinal B, or Cardi B, honey, they stopped following each other, honey. So, I mean, and it's close to Christmas time. I mean, are they not following each other because they don't want to give each other a gift? What is it? Why do people break up? Around Christmas time, the the the, the um, most happiest time of the year, people breaking up, honey. And you know, it's it's just a sad situation, though. Know, but I know we just gotta keep everybody lifted up in prayer because, honey, you just don't know. One thing, um, you don't know what goes on behind closed doors, and all we know is what we see. And honey, what you see, like they say, believe half of what you um see and none of what you hear. Which I think, honey, you should believe what you see and believe what you hear. But, honey, this is what people are saying. So, you know, it, it, it's just that thing, honey. But this is the thing, honey. A lot of people, you know, I just feel, really. Now, they're saying, now, we all know T.J. Holmes. Honey. You know, T.J. Holmes, the um, reporter, the former reporter, and his um, um, girlfriend, honey, Miss Amy Robach. Well, just in time for Christmas, they're saying, y'all, that um, T.J. and uh, Amy Robach's ex-husband, honey, Andrew Shue, and T.J. Holmes' ex-wife, honey, Miss um, Mary Lee Feebig, are dating each other. Yes, honey, they are dating each other. T.J. and his wife, um, Mary Lee, and Amy and her husband, Andrew, they all used to go out together. They used to go on dates, honey. They were good friends and stuff. So if these two bastards had the audacity to bring their mates together while they were secretly cheating, honey, I'm not mad if their mates not getting together. Now, some people say, well, why would they get together? Do they really love each other? Well, then we're going to learn to love each other, damn. Because my thing is this, honey. If I was Mary Lee, honey, I would take her daughter because she has a daughter with TJ. Now, um, Amy and um, um, Andrew doesn't have any kids together, but she does have kids. So my thing is, honey, I would take them damn kids, go meet your stepdaddy, go meet your stepmama. Well, I thought that, that was, our, that was ain't, um, Amy. No, ain't Amy screwing your damn daddy. So now that's your stepmama. So, but it's just a mess, though. But... I think in the song he said, if your girl start acting up, did you take a friend? Well, honey, if your man acting up, you take his friend or however they want to go. But <clears throat> I just think they should be together. Why not? 
Why not be together, honey? If they um, may cheat with each other, goddamn well, we're gonna cheat with each other. We're gonna make this a good thing, honey. And you do know, honey. Now, my thing is, this is I also feel about this. With TJ Holmes being an African American man, honey, black men, honey, are very territorial. And I think he wouldn't like it that honey, somebody else is digging in his wife or ex wife. So fix his ass up. Let his ass see. Oh, honey, well, Andrew is just as good as you. Nah, fix him up. So, because my thing is, honey, it, it, it's just, it's a sad situation. But you got to let them see that, honey. Fat meat is greasy. If you do it to me, I'm going to do it to you. So, everybody, how about, well, they wrong for that. No, they're not. They're not wrong for it at all, honey. Girl, do what you got to do, child, honey. Do exactly what you got to do. Because, child, my thing is this. They did it to me. So, I'm going to love this man, honey, and we're going to be happy ever after. So, um, it was another company that did that, um, a country music um, couple. I can't remember her name. Um, can't remember her name. But anyway, honey, um, her best friend took her husband. So, she just went ahead and did the same thing. So, it's it's crazy. That's why I don't bring nobody around my friend. If I was in a relationship, bitch, ain't none of these queens meeting them. Because, honey, trust me, stuff like that happens. <clears throat> Stephanie Mills wrote the song, Keep Away, Keep Away Girl, This One's All Mine. Because, baby, a girl will have your man, honey, smile up in your damn face, and the queen will do the same. Um, Baby, they said Miss Lupita Nuango and Joshua Jackson, baby, they, they, they said they were spotted running errands in um, Los Angeles. You know, everybody needs love. Without love, what do we have? Nothing. We just need love, honey. Love is a mended, splendid thing. So, honey, why not um have the love that you need, honey, and do what you got to do, honey, and... It's all good. I do believe so, honey. So, hey, if you want to, honey, be with somebody, honey, want to love somebody, whatever, honey, you know, you got to do what you got to do. That's all. You got to do what you got to do. But like they said, honey, just don't um, pee on my damn, um, on my territory, honey. You can enlarge it, but, honey, don't try to, mm -mm. no, sir, honey, no, ma'am. No, ma'am, honey. And you know what? Speaking of love, y'all, um, this is good. You know, uh, we're talking about love. Is I, I talked about it, and they're saying that Cheryl Lee Ralph and her husband, honey, you know, he's a great senator. They saying now, first of all, they were saying that you know people are talking about their love life. Cause you know they finally um are moving in together. After God knows how many years now, they're saying that Cheryl Lee Ralph wants everybody to learn the truth of the matter. Now they're saying after report service claiming that the Abbott Elementary star decided to move in. With her husband, his name is Vincent Hughes. He's a, a senator, United States senator. You know, she said, it's not true. Oh, what? She said, honey, after, she said, it's not true at all. She said, um, you know, told E, baby, she said, honey, in an exclusive interview with Critics' Choice Association celebrating all that stuff, blah, 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 blah. He said, referring to the reports, she added, if you're going to write things, she said, just try to get it close to right. She said, we've been married 18 years and together 21 years. Oh, my God. She said, um, as for their home life together, Mrs. the Dream Girls alum noted that due to their busy work schedule, she and the Pennsylvania State Senator often find themselves on opposite coasts. Now, she said, we live together on and off. She said, in that she said, I'm shooting Albert Elementary in L.A., she explained. She said, he is at the Capitol every week, so we see each other in between. Oh. She said, but there's no doubt on where they stand more than two decades later. She said, honey, is that my man? She said, honey, I am booed up, so do we enjoy cuffing season? Yes. Oh. <clears throat> I'm about to call Miss Cheryl, honey, because, honey, I mean, I talked about it, honey. We talked about it on Dish Nation, too, about that, you know, they moved together. Because I was wondering, I'm like, you know, I was just what would make them move, finally move together, you know, with her filming, like she said, in L.A. and him being in Pennsylvania. Well, honey, now she letting it be known. And no, bitch, they um together, but they still not living together because they got different, um, you know, work schedules and stuff. And that leads to the question, girl, could you live in a different state? From your man. That's a question. Because I'm going to be honest with y'all, honey. I have a jealous spirit. And I'm sorry, honey. I've seen too much. I have too, I've worked with too many men, honey, heteros, that baby have wives and cheat on them down locally, let alone, honey, would they not cheat on them being in different states. 
I'm sorry, honey. I, I don't know if I could do it. Now, I mean, maybe y'all could do it. I don't know, but I don't know if I could do something like that. I just, I, I, it's not the idea that I'm not that secure. And that's not saying maybe I don't trust my mate, but maybe I don't trust the other goddamn people. How about that? Because that's, oh, I don't know. Let me know if y'all could um do that. But that's a, a that's a kind of hard situation. You got to be in love, honey. And let me tell you something, honey, too. Let me just keep it real, honey. Keep it real. I don't give a damn if your ass FaceTiming this bastard talking to him. Honey. He can still have some goddamn body performing oral sex on him while his ass on the phone with you. You don't know because that's what shit happens. That's, things happen like that. I'm sorry. Things happen like that and vice versa, honey. A woman could have another man or another woman, honey, chewing on her. So it's just, uh, I don't know. Like I said, 24 hours a day, when your ass got off the phone with this bastard, honey, somebody else could be in the damn house waiting. So I, I don't know. It's just, I mean, you do what you do, honey, but I, I mean, my trust factor just ain't there yet. I'm sorry. All right, child, moving on. Okay, Cry Reese, honey, or, or Tyrese, child, whatever his name is. Now, this is the deal. Tyrese, now they're saying y'all that he loses the bid, y'all to remove divorce, just. Who the hell Tyrese think he is, damn man? He, he is forever in the damn news, honey. He just, he is the most boring person, honey, I've ever seen. But uh, but he's staying the damn news and stuff behind bull crap. Now, he have a badass mansion, honey, in Buckhead. If y'all didn't know that, but um, I was invited, but I didn't go because I was scared he was going to turn me around. But anyway, because, you know, I say so much stuff about him. You know, he's staying the news, honey. But they're saying, y'all, that um, last month, Tyrese, honey, he filed a motion, honey, removed the judge presiding over his divorce after accusing him of, being biased, honey. Now, Tyrese lost y'all in his fight to replace the judge presiding over his divorce battle due to an alleged bias. Now, they're saying, according to the court documents, y'all, they're saying obtained by um, Radar, they're saying that the Honorable Kevin Farmer, you know, denied the fast X star demand. Now, back in September, y'all, 2022, they said Tyrese, honey, and his beautiful ex-wife, Miss Samantha Gibson, faced off in court. Now, they're saying both sides, um, um, testified on, you know, the stand. So they were there. No, they did what they had to do, child. Now, they said at one point, the judge um, scolded, honey, the entertainer telling him, you don't ask questions. That's not how it works. And in the end, yeah, they said the judge ordered Tyrese to pay only $10,000 a month in child support. There ain't no damn money, $10,000 a month. You know, his daughter got to eat, sleep, and she got to still live that life, honey, that he close to living, honey. But nevertheless... They're saying, honey, so, um, where did they say that? Oh, but they said Tyrese and Samantha, you know, they share a daughter from Mr. Royal. They said Judge Farmer did tell Tyrese, honey, um, this is not a punishment for you. Put that money where it belongs, in the child. And that's where it's supposed to be, honey. Some people might say, well, they got $10,000. Yes, her dad is a damn celebrity. What you want her to live, like eating grits and eggs and stuff? She got to live the certain life that she got to wear the finest clothes. She got to wear, have a nice car to be driven in and get to school. She got to have nice things because her dad's a star, honey. So, y'all, don't start about that. That's a lot of money. It ain't, honey. Now they said, um, now a couple of months later, they're saying that Samantha accused Tyrese of refusing to pay the court order. So, poor, she claimed, honey, that he'd been paying her. Oh, my God. He only gave this girl $2,200, y'all, instead of $10,000. Tyrese needs to be ashamed. He said, what in the hell can you buy for $2,200? For a celebrity child. I don't believe that, honey. He needs to be ashamed of himself. Then they said Tyrese claimed, honey, that he lead the child support order was excessive. He accused the judge of being biased against him. The judge found Tyrese in contempt, God dog it, of court, but did not throw him in jail. Instead, honey, he ordered him to cough up $237,000, honey, in back child support and another $400,000 to cover Samantha's legal bill. All right, bitch. You could have paid it. Look what you had to pay. That's almost $600,000. They said, but last month, Tyrese demanded Judge Farmer be taken off the case. He claimed that the judge canceled, honey, a hearing, honey, related to his appeal of the back child support order. He said that the judge decided to order him to cough up the $450,000 bond for his appeal to proceed. Then Tyrese said, honey, he planned to use the hearing to tell the judge y'all that he needed additional time Due to the actor strike. Yeah, right, nigga. You need uh, additional time. If you'd have paid the goddamn money, like you said initially, you wouldn't have to go through all this. And so I tell you, Cry Reese is a mess, honey. So they said Tyrese's ex Amanda responded to the request in a file and obtained by radar where she asked that the judge not be taken off the case. She said the court is quite familiar with the procedural history of this matter and respondents' regular frivolous 
efforts to delay and avoid yeah, the enforcement of any of the court's orders with um you know which which he disagreed. Of course he's gonna disagree, child. But she said that the um accusations and allegations that contain in Tyrese's motions are baseless, which they are, and honey without merit and certainly not legally sufficient baby to support the refusal of Judge Farmer. And they said, yeah, then Judge Farmer signed in order that denies Tyrese's motion. So, Tyrese, you just go ahead on, honey, and pay this woman the money. I mean, he got the money. I mean, come on, just pay the woman the money. I mean, hell, you got all that from the Coca-Cola commercial you did when you first started your career. So, Tyrese, stop acting like this. Pay some man that child, she got to get that baby some... um. Some clothes, honey, some Christmas stuff right now. You know, stop acting a damn donkey, honey, and, and, and do what you need to do. Because, honey, it's all for the child. It's for the child. Oh, before I forget this, y'all, uh, what's his name? Marcus, um, I mean, Jonathan, uh, what's his name? Jonathan uh, Majors, honey. Y'all, Jonathan Majors, I tell you, honey, it might not be looking good for him. Now, you know Jonathan Majors is bringing his ex-girlfriend, honey, Back in court, child, and her name is, let me see if I can look up, her name is Grace Jabari, and Jonathan Majors is of African descent and Grace is of European. Well, honey, you know he's been in court because, you know, this girl said he tried to strangle her to death, honey, and um, he um, hit her in the head and did all kind of things, honey. When allegedly, she found um, his cell phone and had somebody saying, baby, I want to see you, I miss kissing you, whatever the thing is, and people saying that that may have been, um, what's her name, um, Miss Megan Good. Well, Miss Grace said, baby, now this is the tea, honey, and this got the black community up in arms, honey, over Mr. Um, Mr. Jonathan, baby, honey. Now, he's, now she told the jury, honey, that she, he told Miss Grace, baby, he told her that she needed, baby, to make sacrifices, honey, for his damn career, like Michelle Obama and Caress Scott King did for Martin, honey, and um, Barack. What kind of fragonacle is that? You told a white woman that she needs to make some damn sacrifice for your career, like Michelle and damn it, um, Coretta Scott King. How dare you? What kind of damn comparison is that? Why you didn't say she didn't make a kind of comparison like um, like um, um, uh, what's her damn name? Um, um, what's what's Sydney Portier's uh, wife name was? Um, Peggy Lipton, or maybe um, who else, honey? Um. What other Negro is married to a white woman? Anyway, you should have used those comparisons. You don't use Coretta Scott King and damn Martin Luther King. Are you out of your mind? I, I, and um, Barack Obama going to tell her she needs to make sacrifices like that? How dare you? That woman don't cook grits, honey, and chuck corn and do stuff like that, honey, like these women did for their men. And you going to ask her to make a sacrifice for you like they did? Oh, God. I'm just so shocked, Jonathan. And I wonder what, honey, um... Uh, what's her name is thinking about it? I mean, you saying some stuff like that, honey. Miss Union. I mean, not Miss Union. Miss, um, damn, I just said her name. You see, I'm getting, oh, I can't remember, y'all. Um, Miss Good. Hell, you should have did that. I mean, Jonathan, you got to get better, baby. Because, baby, and the thing about it is, the two, it really makes it worse. This girl said, and they got it on tape, honey, that when this girl, honey, um, you got out of the cab, and, honey, um, Miss Gabari, honey, she jumped up behind you, bitch, and you, Pushed her back in the cab, baby. Oh, Lord, that's not a good look. You don't do that, Jonathan. You pushed a European woman in a cab? You don't do that. What were you thinking? I mean, where was your mind? And what we got to remember, there's a camera everywhere, honey. There's a camera everywhere. Now, they did show her in the club partying and stuff, honey, like it was 1999. But still, honey, you pushed this girl. That was assault because that was an unwarranted touch. So, you know, that's an, that's an assault. So I just feel bad for you. So hopefully and prayerfully, you know, that Megan, honey, showing up in court with you could make it better, honey. But right now, I don't know if that's a good look. Because um, people are, I mean, the girls are talking. Tongues are wagging. People are saying, oh, my God, did he actually do that? But the camera showed that you did. So... All I can say is, honey, we just need to pray, honey, and, you know, pray for all parties. And hopefully, whenever the situation is, that all these people that I just talked about, you know, maybe get together um, for Christmas exchange gifts, honey, because since all this kind of happened, like, 
in the middle of the end of the month, in the middle of the month, before Christmas, I think you still deserve a Christmas gift. You know, and people are wondering if um, Diddy gonna buy Cassie a Christmas gift. I mean, he just gave her allegedly a hundred million dollars, but I mean, that's not even enough of what she went through, honey, with him, honey. And then I mean, some people said, is he gonna buy um, Kamora Lee a gift? Because some people saying, you know, this girl house burned, and they saying, honey, you know, it probably was a bad boy situation, and you know, um, because um, Kamora and um, Diddy's um, ex baby mother, uh, uh, deceased baby mother, Miss Kim Porter, were best friends, honey. And then you know, all of a sudden, honey. This girl came up dead, so people are wondering, honey, what is really going on with Diddy? Because another person came up saying, honey, um, he did something to her. So, but the real tea is people are wondering, oh, wait, honey, is Mace gonna say something, or maybe is Fonsworth Bentley gonna say something, honey? Because that's who know where all the skeletons are buried at. So we're just gonna follow that story and see how this turned out. Because right now, it's just it's, it's not a good look. But you know, only Jesus knows, honey. Yes, honey, Emmanuel. So, you know, so we're going to follow this and see how this turns out. And hopefully and prayerfully that maybe all this is resolved by Christmas. Maybe people get a good Christmas gift. You know, if they just tell the truth and just be right. I don't know, honey. You know, it's just, I don't know. It's just too much. But anyway, um, I want y'all to have a great day and a better tomorrow, honey. And I want you to, um, you know, continue um, following and listening to Gary's Tea, honey. Because you know what? If you don't like what you heard, then, honey, uh, and if you like what you heard, then, uh, and you can click right there and right there and here. So just keep on clicking, honey. And I keep loving you. And we'll keep doing this more and more, honey, just for you, honey, on Friday. So have a great day and a better tomorrow. Feliz Navidad. You see, I get the chance to say it now. Feliz Navidad. Um, happy Hanukkah and have a great day. Bye. You're loved.